over here, you'll, you'll see that Professor Levinsky is working on another maquette in clay. In this, in this form, the large form, and in this form that you see here, these are the same form as, as we see here. This is the positive, this is the negative. We began with a clay form that Yaroslav Abrikhtova carved out of clay for both these pieces. And we took a plaster mold in two parts off of that original. The first part was cast inside this form here. So that when we cast it, after it was done, it looked about like this. Now there are keys that were carved into the back of it after it was cast, and um, we'll talk about those in a minute. So this, this imagine this is clay. This was boarded up here and then filled with plaster, then carved back to meet contours that would have no undercuts. Then shellac was painted over this form after keys were carved in here. And these keys are carved in because after the shellac is put on here, remember this is clay, um, the, uh, the, the second form would be poured around the clay. And that's what we see here. This is the second form. And it was poured after the shellac was put on this backing to keep them from sticking together. Forms were built up here. And then the, the second mold that went around the, the exterior of the piece, uh, it was a horizontal pour, was made. All right. Then it was pulled off of the clay. And then this remained in the clay. So now these keys here fit onto these positive keys in the form. So that when we want to make the second mold, which will be gelatin, it will be the same process in reverse. The mother mold, as we'll call it, was cleaned up. All the little spots that would stick into the glass, little nubs, are cleaned off. These angles are sharpened up. And you see it in the negative instead of in the positive. So sometimes lines that you couldn't see before or angles that you couldn't get to before because of the fact that it was in the positive are now available for you to clean up and get to in the negative. So we look at it in the negative, clean it up as best as possible, because the more you clean it up before it's made into glass, when you have materials like plaster uh, or clay or gelatin, the more you can clean it up then, it means much less, uh, what the Czechs would say, more uh, terrible works, strašni paratze. You save that kind of horrible uh, cold working later, every time you can perfect a form in this, in, in this, in this status, in plaster or in gelatin or in clay. All right, then this form, this, uh, the mother mold is then shellac. And it's also painted with a very light layer of beeswax and uh, kerosene that was put into a double boiler and melted together. And that becomes a very fine body. I mean, it actually has a lift, a layer to it, so that when these things uh, are cast and they start to contract and stuff, that there's still something that's been resisting all that material. It's like uh, how you would use a, uh, uh, in a way, you know how you do exposed aggregate, you paint the stuff on the right. form so that it won't set up next to the form? It's similar to that. So there is a fine layer of material around all this, so it can't pinch up too tight. 